Hey guys, this is what I'm doing for um, getting breakfast, well, getting dinner started for today. So I'm just going to bake some chicken and we're going to put it into a pan. Hey guys, hey, here's my chicken. I'm going to put barbecue sauce and stuff on that. It's already done cooking. This is baked. I baked it for about maybe like two to three hours. I know some people might say, oh, that's too long, but I want my stuff. Alright guys, I'm going to turn the pot on. And we're going to add the bacon. I'm going to add the bacon to the bottom of the pot. And just like, um, just a couple strips, not a lot. Not a lot. I really don't cook with bacon too much, but sometimes I, I do. Because I had it in the freezer, so why not use it? We're going to add the strips of bacon in there. I think like five or six should do. Five or six strips of bacon should be good. And it is um, cloudy and a little bit of like rainy and wet outside. So um, I'm not getting that great amount of sunlight. I was going to turn on my um, box lights, but I don't feel like doing all that today. I'm hungry, y'all. I just want to eat. So here we go. So we got that in the oven. I'm going to rinse off some of the cabbage that I had. Alright guys, now I'm going to add the cabbage into the pan. And start putting some water in there. Just two cups, two and a half cups of water. Just gradually, 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 gradually. This is one cabbage, so this is a pretty big one. But when it starts wilting down, it's going to wilt down to nothing. Drop some in. Add the cabbage. Alright guys, this is what I put in my cabbage. A little bit of seasoning salt. Put that on top. Not too much, not too much. Um, put a little bit of this. I don't have any fresh seasonings right now. This is all I have. So some pepper. Pepper, 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 pepper. And I also put carrots inside mine. I love carrots. So I put these inside them. When they're almost, when the cabbage is almost done, I'll add my carrots. Because if I add it now, it's going to be kind of like too soft for me. And I like mine to be a little, with a little crunch added into it. Okay, guys, here we go. Now I'm going to dump the juices off of the chicken. Dump the juices into here. It doesn't have to be every drop, but most of it you want to dump off. This is how I like my chicken when I do barbecue chicken. And, it's, and you know, I love it. And I'm going to add the barbecue sauce. I love this barbecue sauce. I normally don't make barbecue sauce from scratch. I could, but you know, it's time consuming. So this is just something real quick for anybody to do at home. This is just the way I do it. So, you know, everybody don't do it. If you're getting barbecue sauce from the store like this, always shake it up. So I add the sauce. I don't like my barbecue sauce like dripping from the from the meat. So I'm adding it on my chicken. Put the lid on it. Let me get a fork real quick. Now we're just gonna try to like, I might as well put my hands into it. Move the chicken around to get everything saturated with the sauce. If you need more, add. All right, you guys, I think I have this together, so give me a minute. Now we're gonna add this. I had these on sale. These were on sale at Kmart, and the Kmart around here is actually going out of business. So, why not? They were like 70 cents or something like that. Kids love blue bread muffins. I do too, so now we're gonna add it to our mixture. The direction is on the back. Um, 